Have you been interested in modding your PC version of Terraria, but just haven't gotten around to it? Well, the solution is a free piece of software. It's available on Steam. It's called Tmod Loader. And don't worry guys, this is legit. It has received the endorsement, at least unofficially, of the Relogic folks. And I think the reason for that is because they realized with the 1.4 or Journey's End patch that all future content really is going to have to come from the community and it really is going to come in the form of mods that work with Tmod Loader. As you can see from this video it has its own page on the Steam store. If that's not a sign of legitimacy I don't know what is. At any rate this does not come by default with 1.4 Terraria or Terraria 1.4 whatever you want to call it. So you're going to have to download it if you want to use it which is super easy you've installed anything on Steam you know how to do that and as you can see from this promotional video there are all kinds of interesting mods you can get mods that add visual augmentations mods that change the game from top to bottom an example of course would be the calamity mod but there are other mods as well there are additional items to get there are quality of life adjustments there are just some really weird mods and we'll see more of that in a few minutes but the video really says more than I can say about the kind of things you can expect to get from the Tmod loader and the mods that the community has made because the mods you're going to get aren't from the people necessarily that develop Tmod loader. Tmod loader is simply the platform for all of these amazing community mods. Anyway, it's super easy to install. It will actually run a separate instance of Terraria that's separate and apart from your main Terraria install. And the beauty of that, of course, is that it won't mess around with your existing worlds and characters. Now, this is what it looks like when you load it up for the first time. It includes this message. And um, it's pretty straightforward. As of the making of this video, and this might change depending on when you're viewing my video, it has not yet made it all the way to 1.4. It's currently at 1.3.5. So you're probably going to have to just make a new world and a new character. You can't import anything from 1.4 yet. I'd imagine that'll change in the not too distant future, but pretty straightforward. It's just like regular Terraria. There's a list of mods. If you click the mods button, you'll see which mods you have installed. But here we have the mod browser and it is exactly what it says it is. It's a way to browse mods. By default, this starts by sorting by date of upload. And so the most recent mods will appear. There's also some toggles here you see me mousing over them and then of course the all-important search feature which is probably going to be the most useful feature for you if you know what it is you are looking for so you know it's not ideal you're probably going to want to go on the internet on a web browser to figure out which mods are worth loading up unless you have a lot of time on your hands to scroll through this um, somewhat insufficient mod browser but it to its credit loads quickly and what features are there work pretty well. Every mod listed here will have a download button, but there's also a question mark button for mod makers to add some additional information and even a link in some cases to further information on their mod. At any rate, as I said earlier, you can import characters. You can't do it for 1.4 as of the making of this video, but it'll say click here to find the files and that actually works. If you mouse over and click it, it'll open the directory in Windows that goes straight to the files in question. They make it super, super easy for you. It's the same for the characters and the worlds. Anyway, this is the character creation screen. I'm in 1.4, so I had to just make a new character. And, you know, when you come up with a name, you've got to be super original. So I'll call this guy Madi. Original, right? Anyway, that's my guy just to test out some of the features. And again, I can't import the 1.4 worlds. Once again, you can click at the indicated spot to take you to the worlds directory. If you do have one, you're capable of copying over. But for the time being, I simply have to make a new world. And again, I'm going to be super original with the name of this. I'm going to stick to normal mode, not being particularly adventurous. This is, of course, just for demonstration purposes. So Madi, he's going to live in Modland. It seems appropriate. And it creates a new world. It can create a new character. It can create a new world. It's essentially just a mirror version of Terraria. And no surprises here. You can see this is going to be a crimson world. It's generating the world just as it does in regular Terraria 1.3.5.
The difference, of course, is in the mods that you have enabled. And so when you load the game up, this should all be familiar ground for you if you're watching and have played Terraria before. And here, there's nothing really installed. If you go to the menu, there's a mod configuration menu for mods that support this feature. I will say not every mod supports this feature, and certainly have no mods here that do. But back to the mod browse, I'm just going to look around, and this one seems like a suitable test. The Acorn Sword mod. Pretty straightforward. I don't think it's really that big of a mystery what ingredients I'll need to craft this item. And so since I have a brand new character and a brand new world, I needed something right at the very beginning of the game. Anyway, you hit the install button and it downloads and installs the mod and enables it without you having to do anything else. And so next time you go into your world, well, the mod should be active. And this being an acorn mod, well, I'm going to have to get some acorns, right? So let's go to chopping down these trees. Chop, chop. I'm afraid I've got this copper axe, so it's going to take a little while. I'm going to spare you some of the harvesting time. You've seen this a million times, so let's cut ahead. And yeah, I've got some acorns, I've got some wood, and I've built a crude hut here. And lo and behold, look what's available. That's right, the acorn sword. And as you might expect from something made from wood and acorns, it's not a world beater. But hey, it's a proof of concept, right? It shows that the mod works. And I have to say that's better than the default short sword you start the game with. It's got nice speed, decent knockback, not much power, but pretty good range on it. So hey, it's uh, it's something. <laughs> that's all I'll say about that. Anyway, you notice that the attack or the player getting hit sound sounds a little different. I don't know if that's something to do with the mod, something to do with T-Mod Loader, but it does sound different than my usual character. I don't know if there's anything more to that. I just thought I would include that as a little brief mention. But I can't end this video on something as mundane as the Acorn Sword mod. I think we really need to put this T-Mod Loader through its paces. So let's try something else. And this looks like a suitable mod. I love memes, as we all do. Memes Unleashed. I really don't know much about this mod, but Flying Blind, it seems like a, a contender for this opening video on Terraria modding. So let's give this a go. And you can tell by the download time, this is a larger mod. That's good. It's got more stuff in it, so it's gonna take a little longer to download. And it's gotta install. And let's go back to mods. And another interesting feature is if you if you hover over these little icons, it'll tell you some of the mod's features. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Clearly this mod contains a fair bit of content compared to say the Acorn Sword mod. So I have high hopes for this mod. Uh, so without further ado, let's give this a go. All right, and right away I've got my new early game summon. This is some kind of wood elemental summon. And it's not bad, I got myself a meme coin. Nothing to see here, folks. Just, we all have meme coins, right? I actually have no idea what meme coins do, but I like them. So you can tell right away, even in the early game, there's a lot of new stuff here, and this is just one mod. And what the hell is this thing? I don't know what this is. Well, I know what they say it is, but I'm still very confused. And that was a rather close scrape my character gotten, but uh, I survived that first major attack of the night and then there's a dead meme that doesn't really make any sense but you can see this is a very silly mod full of weird sounds and weird monsters so I like it so far I have to say it mixes up the game quite a bit let's let's head back to base and that's a zombie we've seen those before so not everything is different but uh, let's go back to base and what what on earth it's it's not quite Pepsi but it's something similar to Pepsi and look at that message so I think you, you get the tone of this mod from the get-go, and sure enough, it sells soda to us. Soda that is superior to Coke, apparently. Anyway, I think you can tell the potential of the T-Mod loader, especially if you get Terraria 1.4 and it runs its course and you've played through all the content. And that's great, of course, but if you want something more, if you want to add some longevity to Terraria, then I think this is going to be your best bet. T-Mod Loader. Again, it's free. Right now, as far as I know, it's only for the PC version of Terraria. Um, but that's the, the modding life, I'm afraid. It's just a, a PC world for mods for the most part. Anyway, I hope this was helpful if you're curious about mods, and I will see you next time.